What's up, YouTube? In today's video, I'm going to be showing you all the Grindana Shrine Peace locations. I also want to know what everybody thinks about the new DLC that just came to Tiny Tina's. Let me know what f***ing gun everybody's using, bro. Because I'm kind of f***ing stuck. But that's not the point of the video. But before we get going, don't forget to smash that like button, smash that sub button, and drop a comment. Thanks. So... Head over to the overworld. That's the first thing you're gonna need to do. And that's the only place where you can find these pieces. All right, so we're starting from the front of Brighthoof, right where the notion begins. And you're gonna have to do some dungeons. Very easy. The first shrine piece can be found right here. You have to go through the this dungeon. Contains a shrine piece by from that dungeon over yonder. And once you complete this dungeon, you will get a shrine piece. This is right here. Shrine piece Grindana. A piece of a shrine to a forgotten god. This is the first location and the earliest location you can get. Once you're done with this dungeon, just turn to the right and go over here. And this is the second location. Watch out for the enemy. Right here. I already did it. Shrine piece of Grandana. Oh, it's the same text. Okay, cool. So yeah, this is where you can find the second piece. Get away from me. Oh my god. I'll be right back. So once you've completed this, you'll be rewarded another shrine piece. And for the third shrine piece, follow me. It is right over here. Let's see if I've done this one. Yes, I have. Shrine piece of Grindana. Very nice. Very nice. And that can be found um, right here. That center of almost the entire map. So pretty much looking this way to the left of Brighthoof. Because Brighthoof is right here. Turn, make a left. Boom, you're right there. All right. Time for the fourth one. So you need this invisible bridge mechanic, and you can unlock it once you've gone past War Tooth Shallows, and you've unlocked this side quest, which will be right here. And once you complete this side quest, it lets you access these invisible bridges. And we have to access an invisible bridge in order to get the last shrine piece. And I'm going to show you where it's at right now. So once you've completed this dungeon and you've unlocked the third shrine piece, you're going to be spawned over there. So, you know, take the quick route. And once you're here, you need the invisible bridge mechanic to get past this part. Keep walking and head up the mountain. And once you're here, you should see this door. And this door is the fourth and final piece of the Shrine of Grindana. And it can be found right over here. Yep. Now I'm going to show you how to activate the Shrine. Follow me. <clears throat> I'm missing a one shrine piece. Come over to this location. It's going to be marked Shrine Restoration Grindana. And it's going to reward you with 17k XP and 7,444 gold. Pretty useless. Nice. So, press X. And boom. Grindana, the patron god of experience, gives you a helping hand as you improve your already... Basically what she just said, you get a boost. Pretty sure it's a 10% uh, experience buff. Let me search it up. All I gotta do is go to my journal. Ah, here it is. You see to the right, shrine buffs, 10% experience gain. Nice. This is exactly what we needed. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope you're having a great day. Peace!